Thierry Pollen, November 28, 1963, April 16, 1989, was a French serial killer active in the 1980s. Childhood and teenage years Pollen was born in Fort de France, Martinique. His father flew to metropolitan France just after his birth, leaving his teenage mother to fend for herself and the baby. Pollen was raised in Martinique by his paternal grandmother, who owned a restaurant and allegedly paid little attention to her grandson. When he was ten, Pollen started to live with his now married mother, trying to blend in with his stepbrothers and sisters. His behavior started to become erratic and violent towards the other children, and eventually his mother asked his father to take their son to France. His father accepted in order to avoid paying alimony. As a mixed race student among white peers, Pollen had few friends, and performed poorly at school, failing his exams. At the age of 17, he decided to enter military service early, joining the parachutist troops. However, his fellow soldiers disdained him for his race and homosexuality. On the 14th of November 1982, he robbed an old woman in her grocery, menacing her with a knife. The grocer knew him as a customer, however, and he was soon arrested. In June 1983, he was sentenced to two years in prison, but the sentence was suspended, ab exercis, allowing Pollen to remain free. From Toulouse to Paris in 1984, after leaving the army, Pollen learned that his mother and her family now lived in Nanterre, a northern suburb of Paris. He went there to live with them, but his relationship was hostile. Pollen became a waiter at the Paradis Latin, a nightclub renowned for its drag shows. There, he started a career as an artist, dressed in drag and singing tunes by his favorite singer, Eartha Kitt. His mother was once invited to watch her son's performance, but she left the club a few seconds after the beginning of the act. The most important event that happened to Pollen at the Paradis Latin was meeting Jean Thierry Mathurin. The 19-year-old Mathurin was born in French Guiana, and was a drug addict. Pollen fell in love with him and they soon became lovers. Pollen was also addicted, but less severely, and sold drugs as well. On October 5, 1984, two elderly women were assaulted in Paris. Germaine Petitot, 91, survived but was too traumatized to give a detailed description of the criminals. Anna Barbier Punt, who's 83, died after being beaten and asphyxiated beneath a pillow. Her murderer robbed her of 300 francs, about $50. In October November 1984, eight other old women were murdered, mainly in the 18th arrondissement of Paris, but in neighboring areas too. The violence of the crimes was notable. Some of the victims had their heads stuck into plastic bags, some were beaten to death, and one of them was forced to drink drain cleaner. In all cases, the motive appeared to be robbery. Some reports allege that Pollen singled out women who seemed unpleasant or unfriendly when he engaged them in conversation, while Pollen himself told police that, I only tackled the weakest of them. At the same time, Pollen and Mothurin were leading an extravagant lifestyle, spending their nights dancing, drinking champagne, and snorting cocaine. In late November, they decided to go to Toulouse to stay for a few months at the home of Pollen's father. But the elder Pollen was unable to accept his son's lover, and violent fights ensued, ending when Pollen and Mothurin broke up. Mathurin returned to Paris while Pollen tried to start his own firm of transvestite artists, a plan which failed in autumn 1985. The second wave of murders from December 20, 1985, to June 14, 1986, eight more old women were murdered. The police were unable to identify the killer, though the investigators had a few clues. Police determined through fingerprint evidence that the perpetrator was the same individual who committed the 1984 murders. However, in the new murders, the killer appeared to favor quicker, less cruel methods. In the autumn of 1986, Pollen attacked one of his cocaine dealers with a baseball bat. The dealer went to the police, 
and Pollen was arrested. Pollen was sentenced to 16 months of jail for the assault, spending one year in Fresen's prison. Upon his release, Pollen knew himself to be HIV positive. However, this just increased the number of killings in what seemed like a race against time to kill as many as possible, as he knew he was on his last years. The final countdown knowing that he was in effect under a death sentence from AIDS, Pollen organized lavish parties, spending a lot of money and sparing no expense. Pollen paid for these parties with stolen credit cards and checks, and with the proceeds from his murders. On November 25, 1987, Pollen murdered Rachel Cohen, age 79. On the same day, he attacked an 87-year-old woman, Berta Final Terry, whom he suffocated and left for dead. Two days later, he strangled Genevieve Germont, who would be his last victim. As Pollen celebrated his 24th birthday, Final Terry unexpectedly recovered and was able to give an accurate description of her attacker, stating that he was Unmetis de invincting de ane quaf a grave la Carl Lewis, avec un baucle de Oriel a grave el Oriel gauche, literally, a mixed race man in his twenties, with hair like Carl Lewis and an earring in his left ear. On December 1st, Pollen was arrested while walking down the street when a local police inspector, Francis Jacob, recognized him from Final Terry's description. After two days in custody, Pollen admitted everything, including his involvement with Mathurin. Accused of committing 18 murders, though he claimed responsibility for 21, he was sent to jail awaiting trial. In early 1988, Pollen fell ill, as his body began to succumb to the effects of AIDS. Within a year he was hospitalized in a state of near paralysis, suffering from both tuberculosis and meningitis. He died during the night of April 16, 1989 in the hospital wing of Fresen's prison. Only Mathurin was tried for the first nine attacks and murders, receiving a life sentence, plus 18 years without parole. He was incarcerated until January 2009. While technically, Thierry Pollen was never convicted of the murders of which he was accused. Film references The 1994 movie J.A.I. Pas Samael, I Can't Sleep, by director Clara Dennis was based on the Pollen case. References External links, in French, Pollen, Thierry, Biographical Notes.